Hello everyone, welcome to episode one of my technology tips and tricks podcast. This first episode will be a quick overview of the Notability app, which is a great iPad app for taking notes. So it's available for 99 cents at the iTunes store. And I've personally tried other apps. For example, I've tried NoteTaker HD and I've tried Note Shelf which are good um, for specific purposes and I'm not going to go into that in this episode but I found that for some reason or another it just didn't they didn't have all of the features that I used most and so I want to show you Notability which I've been very pleased with so besides the clean interface it's very easy to organize my notes within this app and I also found it easy to annotate PDFs which was sort of the main Um, my main use of the iPad was for taking notes Um, and besides doing handwritten notes I can also type my notes using this attached my attached keyboard so um, and even recently I found out that you can record audio which syncs directly to the notes that you're taking so after that I was really just sold on notability and wanted to do this podcast for you so you'll notice I've launched Notability. On the left hand side is my column of all the apps that I have or all the notes that I have within it. I can create headings and subheadings or in this case they're called categories and subject and to add a new category or subject I click on the plus sign which is on the left hand column and I just type it right in there so if I wanted to create a new Notability category. I just type the name, select category, click done, and now I have a category at the very bottom for notability. Um, Now once you've created a category or a subject, you can click the edit button to move items around. So at the very top I clicked edit and now um, if, if I select or press the three little short horizontal lines which is at the end of the category I can then move it around so I can do that not only with the major headings but also with the subheadings within it I can move that to be inside of the notability category and um, I can also choose to delete certain notes and categories as well the quickest way to do that. I've clicked done um, to get rid of the the mo- the ability to move and organize items but if I wanted to delete a category I just swipe to the right so notice I just swiped to the right of notability and now I have this delete option but I don't want to do that so I'll unclick it. Um, Now the next thing you might want to do is import a document. So if you have a PDF, if you have a a reading um, that you want to annotate on the iPad, you can import this document from either Dropbox or Box or um, there's been a recent update to Notability which allows Google Drive documents which could be Microsoft Word, PowerPoint or Excel documents to be imported as a PDF into Notability. So those are some um, ways to get a PDF or a document into it. But if you don't have any of those services, you can easily import a PDF from the web or from your mail app by simply tapping on the PDF that you're viewing. So for example, if I go into Safari and I have a PDF document open here, if I just tap anywhere on it I see open in in the top right hand section and I can then see all the different applications that I can open a PDF into and so the very first one for me is open in Notability and once I do that Notability will launch and that PDF will now be a part of Notability will be saved there so I'm just going to show you what a PDF document will will look like inside of your Notability Um, I'll just open I'll open this one so you'll see here that my PDF opens I can scroll you know to to view multiple pages 
and I have highlight I've already done quite a bit of highlighting I have one two three four five different colors that I've chosen but in the top section is my toolbar and the um, highlighter tool is in this kind of gray toolbar it's the third item so if I select that that's the highlighter tool I now have uh, 16 different colors and 12 different sizes that I can choose from so let's see one I have not used yet is this purple and now I can highlight that way and if I want to erase what I've just highlighted I can either choose the undo button so in the top left in the top kind of the center area of the toolbar is this left arrow that will undo what I've just hi what I've just done which is the purple highlight okay so I could choose if I click it twice it will undo the last two things I did um, but there's also an eraser tool which is right next to the highlighter tool and if I choose that then I can actually um, just erase the last couple of things that I did and so you also notice that I have some handwritten notes that's over to the left hand side and to do that you can click on the pen tool which is the second option if I click on that another time I can choose my pen color let's try pink and just I can write right now I'm writing directly with my finger onto the iPad but if you want to be more precise then you might want to purchase a stylus um, and another way to be even more precise with your writing is to use the zoom tool which is at the very bottom notice it looks like a magnifying glass with a pen pencil inside of it so if I click that I can then move this box around to the location that I want to write so I can be very very precise and I can just then write here okay so now that I have this note and I have my handwritten note I can then choose to share this by clicking on the share button which is in the top left hand corner okay so now I can either bring this back to Dropbox which is where I got this from to begin with or I can email this note to myself or add it to any of the other services that's mentioned here um, on this list. Okay, so the next thing you might want to do um, if you don't want to annotate a PDF document, you can actually create a brand new note from scratch. So let's go back to our main home page by clicking on this leftmost icon, which looks like a shelf with some books on it. If I go back there, I can choose to create a new note. Either notice at the very bottom, I have this create new note, um, which you see here, or in the top right hand section, I can also click this button, which does the same thing. And so the default, let me unzoom this so you can see the whole screen. Um, you'll see a blank white page, but if you wanted to change that up, if you wanted to add lines or change the paper, there is um, this icon in the top right hand section which looks like a rectangle with a little dog-eared section at the bottom of it. I can see I can just kind of browse through and see what type of paper I would like to write on. So I'm going to make mine yellow um, wide ruled paper. And again, to start writing, I can simply choose my pen color, zoom in on a specific area. There are different settings that will manipulate, you know, will determine how this functions. Um, you'll notice that for me, I have it set up so that every time I write to the right the far right corner it will automatically advance which is very nice um, and a lot of other note-taking apps don't do that so besides being able to write again with the pen tool I have an option the very first 
icon there which is a T in the vertical line is my type tool so if I select that and then click on any area on my page I'll have a cursor and my keyboard pops up and I can type now because I'm using an attached keyboard then my on screen keyboard disappeared okay and so that's another way of adding um, notes into the note um, into the notability app and students can even record a lecture while taking notes by clicking on this microphone icon notice right there it looks like a microphone if I click that and continue to type or if I start writing with my hand again it will actually sync the audio that's being recorded with these notes that I'm taking so I think that's a really great feature and is one of the main reasons why I I recommend this app um, very much for educational use so those are some ways to, to take your notes um, the next thing you might want to do well let's stop this recording first um, you might need to delete notes or or edit the name of the note so right now you'll see it's called note October 16th in the top section so to edit that I go back to my home page and I can click on the edit button and if I just select the name of the note right there okay and then when you press and hold it the cursor will appear and you can then change the name of the note like that and then if you want to completely delete the note swipe oh, let's click done I can swipe to the right and easily delete it that way okay so there are many more features um, but that's all I have time for today and that should be enough to kind of get you started feel free to send me a message if you have any questions about this or um, you know have some other ideas about how this can be used and stay tuned for episode 2 which will be coming soon